This video shows how you can conditionally hide and show divs in a freeform uh, list control um, on a UX component. So you can see here we have a, a simple list control. The list control is based on some uh, static data and uh, you can see that we're using a, a freeform layout and then here's our layout and the layout contains a div and uh, if you go back and look at the uh, uh, list control you can see that uh, the div contains uh, uh, some text that there's a blue border around the div to make it clear where the div is and our goal is to hide the div uh, if the state is uh, uh, not Massachusetts so we only want to show um, uh, we we, we want to um, only show the div if the uh, the state is not Massachusetts. So um, let's go back now and see how this is done. So the first thing that we need to do is give the div an ID, but we can't just simply go and uh, type in say ID and give the, an ID because we need the div to be different for each row of the, uh, the list and that's that's a critical uh, point otherwise we're going to end up with um, m multiple divs that all have the same ID which will make it impossible to um, use JavaScript to control the visibility um, or display uh, um, of the div because the divs won't be uniquely named. So in order to give the div a unique name we put a placeholder in the ID so we can see that the list of available placeholders includes the zero based row number. So you can see that the div there is just uh, the word conditional followed immediately by the placeholder. So that means that the div in row 1 will be called conditional 0, the div in row 2 will be called conditional 1, etc. So now um, that each div in each row has a unique ID, we can now go to the on item draw and uh, check to see if the uh, data in the state field is equal to Massachusetts um, and um, uh, if it is Massachusetts then we want to basically hide the div so we can go back to fields here and we can see that uh, state is um, has a capital S and then the rest of it is lowercase and that's important because um, JavaScript is case sensitive and now let's go to our list properties here and in the on item draw you can see here that what we have is we're checking to see the value of data.state so this tells us here that um, the data passed in includes um, Ellie which is the uh, pointer to the element and it also includes data which is the actual data for the row so we're checking to see if data.state is equal to Massachusetts and then um, if it is then we want to um, go ahead and uh, hide the row so we're going to go here and create um, a JavaScript variable called Ellie which is a pointer to the div so uh, we can also see here that we're using another variable called index and we're told over here that index is the row number uh, that is currently being drawn so for the first row this is going to be 0 and the second row that's going to be 1 etc so this uh, variable here Ellie is in fact a pointer now to the um, uh, the div in each row and now if data dot state is equal to Massachusetts then we want to go ahead and hide that element so here we go if the element exists then here Ellie dot style dot display equals none so now let's go ahead and uh, run the component and we can see here that here's the first row Massachusetts the div was hidden the second row it's New York so the div is shown California it's shown Illinois it's shown then for Massachusetts again the div was hidden here the div is shown etc uh, and then for New York again it's shown so we've, what we've shown here is how the on item draw um, event in the list can be used to conditionally show and hide sections of uh, each row in the list and this is done by creating a unique name for the div in the list uh, template so that we can address um, the div um, directly. Thanks very much for watching.